नमस्कार मित्रांनो संतोष बोलतो आहे टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू डिलिव्हर द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑन वॉटर सप्लाय इंजिनिअरिंग अँड विच डील्स विथ द रुरल वॉटर सप्लाय इन मराठी दॅट इज ग्रामीण पाणी पुरवठा द सब्जेक्ट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट ॲज फार ॲज वॉटर सप्लाय इंजिनिअरिंग इज कन्सर्न अँड ॲज वेल ॲज all competitive examinations and theoretical examinations are concerned before starting this lecture what is the importance of this rural water supply i am going to explain in front of you by telling one story in marathi madhya pradeshatil ek adivasi gaav hota tya adivasi gaavat ek tarun mulgi paanyasathi sakali va sandhyakali tichya आयुष्यातले दोन दोन तास खर्च करायचे त्याचे चार पाच तास पाणी भरण्यातच वाया जायचे परंतु त्या गावात एक ग्रामीण पुरव पाणीपुरवठा योजना आली आणि त्यामुळे घरापर्यंत नळ आले त्या नळामुळे तिचे तीन तास रोजचे वाचू लागले व तिने अभ्यास करून स्पर्धात्मक परीक्षेत अत्यंत चांगले असे यश मिळवले व ती आय ऑफिसर बनली म्हणजेच एखादी चांगली ग्रामीण पाणीपुरवठा योजना ही एखाद्याचे आयुष्य बदलवू शकते एखाद्याचेच काय अनेकांचे आयुष्य चांगल्या रीतीने बदलवू शकते दॅट इज द इम्पॉर्टंट ऑफ रुरल वॉटर सप्लाय स्कीम सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर लेक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वी आर गोईंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस व्हॉट इज द रुरल वॉटर सप्लाय और इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ रुरल वॉटर सप्लाय रुरल वॉटर सप्लाय इज डिफरंट than that of conventional water supply because the sources are limited and the water is basically required for drinking as well as domestic purpose so conventional methods are less cost effective so that we have to go for simple and efficient methods for such a rural water supply the rural water supply is basically depends upon the rain water as well as that rain water flows over the ground that is ground water and it is also depends upon the surface or sub surface water so <coughs> for any uh, treatment plant or any rural water supply scheme the uh, treatment should be a low cost uh, treatment for uh, treating the water or fit it for potable purposes as well as it needs the suitable distribution system for <coughs> supplying that water to the community as well as individuals then <coughs> we are going to discuss the water supply scheme in the rural areas that is need of alternative need of alternative means the conventional water supply in the rural areas basically depend upon the <coughs> ponds rivers lakes or any reservoir or any spring and that water is unsafe <coughs> for <coughs> potable purposes or unsafe for the consumption so we have to design the rural water supply scheme which is based on water <coughs> water supply sources and this method is basically that alternative basically consisting of identifying the water supply source then extraction of water from that water supply source then treating that water by low cost effective system and the distribution of water to the individual as well as community so the alternative rural water supply system must consist of water supply source extraction of water third is the low cost treatment to the water and fourth is the distribution then what are the different types of water sources as already discussed the water sources for the rural supply is basically a rain water then <coughs> the surface runoff the rain water there is a hydrological cycle that rain water becomes the surface runoff that surface runoff infiltrates into the ground and becomes the ground water that ground water comes to the surface by means of a springs and called as a surface water that spring may be converted into the ponds or a lakes so these are the water resources for 
or water sources for any rural supply scheme. So, you must go through these notes also, but basic is that there is a rain water, there is a surface water, there is a sur surface water or ground water, there are springs, ponds and lakes. These are the sources for the water supply. Then we are going to discuss rain water based on rural water supply schemes. So, if rain water is used for rural water supply scheme, it may be in the form of harvesting or rain water harvesting. Where it is useful that rain water harvesting is done where rainfall is heavy with long intervals with no rainfall. That is also important. There must be a heavy rainfall and there must be a no rainfall with long intervals. In such a cases, rain water harvesting is important. It can be suitable source in arid and semi-arid regions where people live in the scattered settlements and no other sources are available. The rainwater harvesting may serve well for household means individual as well as community level supplies. It can be used in congestion with the other supply from other sources where supplies are unpredictable in nature. So, and for individuals that rain water, water harvesting is done by the roof, collection of water from the roof that is roof catchment and storage. The rain water with reasonable qualities can be collected using rooftop areas that can be stored to provide individual households in rural areas with adequate water supplies. So, in roof catchment and storage, the simple collection of water through the roofs and gutter arrangement is made to collect that water into the storage tanks. And roof can be made with the help of tiles, slates or corrugated iron or tin or asbestos sheets. But thatched and lead sheet roofs are not suitable because of health hazards. So, they may contaminated that rainwater. The amount of rainwater that can be harvested will depend upon the area of roof and also the intensity of rainfall. The storage tank however has to be made with sufficient capacity to take care of the longest dry season in a normal year. So, I am going to give you one example that for 6 persons family needs 40 liters of water for domestic purposes and that 40 liters of water for 3 months for 3 months number of days are 30 so 3 multiplied by 30 that is 90 days multiplied by 40 liter is that amount of water required per day and multiplied by 1.5 means by increasing that by 50% the amount of water required for 6 person family for 3 months period in rural areas may be 5400 liters as discussed here or as calculated here. So, you must know the requirement of the 6 person family for 3 months that is 5400 liters. So, please look at this figure. The water is collected <coughs> on the roof and the arrangement is made that first wash removal arrangement is there and again that water is collected into the storage tank and it is supplied with the help of hand pumps. So, <coughs> such a simple arrangement is made for collection of water through the roof or by roof harvesting. Then ground catchment and storage. <coughs> the roof Roof storage or roof catchment is used for individuals, but the ground catchment is used for community. The water is collected on the, on, on the ground. That water is collected on the ground. And the losses through the evaporation and infiltrations are reduced by compacting that soil by using some impervious layers of clay, tiles, asphalt and plastic sheets, etc. And the land is made slopey with the help of contouring, clearance of rocks may be done, vegetation may be removed and simple soil compaction may be done or preparation of 
surface by means of tiling to reduce the infiltration and construction of ditches these are the ditches construction of ditches can be made and collect the water into the storage tank to supply that water to the community that is ground catchment and storage then ground water based water supply systems ground water based water supply systems are traditional one you know that it may be done through the open wells or it may be done through the tube wells or it may be done through the number of wells with hand pumps that is the ground water based water supply systems then extraction devices you know that in marathi we called it as a rahat gadge or rahat may be provided on 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 to the river it is nothing but the pulley and rope arrangement to extract the water from the well the extraction of water from the wells can be done by using simple technologies that can be manually or animally operated traditionally there are number of water lifting devices that were being used in various parts of world this includes the rope and bucket devices you know that it may consisting of lifts it may be consisting of screws also with simple modification these traditional methods can be made more efficient in operation and at the same time protecting the source from contamination that is important protecting the source from contamination that that extraction devices are sanitary rope and bucket system bucket pumps chain pumps and hand pumps sanitary rope and bucket system bucket pumps chain pumps and hand pumps you must know that sanitary rope and bucket system sanitary rope and bucket systems are designed by the world health organization and the river uh, uh, the well get protected from the top and it consisting of a wooden roller this is a wooden roller fixed on the side walls of the well around which the rope winds the arrangement uh, the arrangement is simple and can be changed to fit the local condition the covers of the well should be removable and facilitate the cleaning and maintenance of the well and also a rope and bucket mechanism that bucket tips and that water is collected for the domestic purposes and such a arrangement is called as a sanitary rope and bucket system then bucket pumps bucket pumps the schematic arrangement of the bucket pump to extract the water from the open well is as shown in this figure this is the figure where there is a bicycle wheel or sprockets and around the that sprocket there is a series of buckets and that series of buckets are used to lift the water from the open well and the rotation is done through that sprockets or bicycle wheel depending upon the local condition and the availability of material the buckets can be replaced by the earthware jars or wooden or metal boxes and the sprockets with bicycle wheels to run the endless chains so this this is the simple arrangement of bucket pumps so this is enough for that rural water supply scheme for preparation of mpsc examinations as well as for the degree and diploma holder students or degree or diploma holder appearing students who are studying the water supply engineering so once again thanking you for subscribing my channel and requesting the others to subscribe my channel to know the civil engineer engineering in simple and effective way thank you thanking you i am just a big fan sir 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 bahut sharif sa lagta hai call me down